Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to get the Discord backup codes. All right. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more such tutorials. Now, first up, you can go ahead and open up your Discord app. Or if you're using your computer, you can go ahead and open up again the Discord software. Okay. Now, once you're in here, you're going to want to go ahead and go to your uh, uh, settings or gear icon right here at the bottom left. Click on it. And then go to your account or maybe my account, okay? In here, just go ahead and scroll down until you find the Authenticator app, okay? Also, if you want to, you can go ahead and uh, register a security key right here, okay? So going back to the topic, to get the backup codes, you first need to enable Authenticator, okay? Click on it, and it says here, download an Authenticator app. It could be Authy or Google Authenticator, okay? If you want to, you can go ahead and uh, scan this code using your phone, which I'm going to show you right now. So here's my phone and here's the uh, Discord. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my Google Authenticator. And then, as you can see, you won't be able to see my uh, Authenticator because of some uh, security reasons, okay? So basically, you tap on the plus sign at the bottom right and you will have two options, scan a QR code or enter a setup key. So. In my case, I'm just going to go ahead and scan the QR code because I'm lazy enough to, uh, you know, uh, type down the codes. Okay. I'm going to scan that. And then it's going to go ahead and uh, add in my Authenticator app automatically. It will be named Discord. Okay. But once that's done, you have your Discord Authenticator connected. You just go ahead and type down the uh, Authenticator code or Authentication code. Okay. Mine is a 682856, all right? Doesn't matter if you copy it or not, it will just refresh or reset, okay? So don't worry about the codes. Now, once that's done, just go ahead and enter your password and hit on confirm. All right, and once done, as you can see here, you can go ahead and add your phone number for extra, you know, layer of protection. Or if you want to log in in the future and you forgot your password, you can go ahead and use your phone number. Now, download backup codes. In here, you can now go ahead and click on download backup codes. Okay? And it will be saved under TXT file. Go ahead and save it on the desktop so you can easily locate it. And of course, I'm not going to open it up. I'm just going to show you that here we have the codes. All right? That's basically it. Well, I hope this video helps and I'll see you in the next one.